morning folks so after sleeping on this Tektronix 465 I wanted to take a look at the low voltage power supplies because I was troubled by the fact that that there is absolutely nothing on the CRT now there is definitely a problem with the high voltage multiplier it should be putting out three times what it is however there should still be at least something on the screen so I wanted to go through the low voltage power supplies and see if we had a problem there. Now, as you can see, there's, there's quite a bit to this, and this is just a partial of the uh, schematic, but it gives all the expected output voltages from uh, positive 120 volt unregulated all the way down to a negative eight volt. So if we look right at the top here, we can see that if we have our 110 volt, that should indicate that our 120 is good and that also our positive 55 is good because without those we don't get this now if you look at the meter our 110 looks pretty good so i'm going to go check the 55 which as i've said should be good and let's see where that is that looks like it's here our 55 as expected is good there's a 22 volt I'm gonna have to find the zener for and then we have a 15 and a 5 so let's find the 15 okay this should be our 15 volt that looks good our 5 volt is here that's a little low we're going to want to take a look at the 5 volt. And the last one besides our 22 here should be our negative 8. And our negative 8, oh, our negative 8 is really low. Now that could have something to do with our voltage here because it refers or is a reference for this. However, that's really low. And there's a possibility that something here is dragging down the five volt. So I'm gonna take a look at this and we'll come back and uh, see if we can figure out what our problem is. Okay, I spent a little bit of time trying to figure out what's going on with this eight volt supply. That's comprised of these elements right here. I don't see anything wrong with the 8 volt supply um, however and this is interesting because without the 8 volt supply we lose power to this op amp because if you take a look up here this is U1554 A and B it's a dual op amp and its power supplies are fed by our positive 15 and our negative volt without our negative volt this op amp won't operate correctly so it's a kind of chicken and egg problem, but I believe that the problem is actually back here somewhere. Uh, I can't get to these, or at least I don't know how to get to them from the, uh, from the side of the board that's exposed. Uh, this bridge rectifier, I can't get to either, but I'm not getting good voltage here. And what I decided to do to see if it would help is I, I'm using a DC power supply connected to the scope to see if I can get any anything on the CRT so I'm going to move the camera so you can see the CRT so I'm going to turn the scope on so it's powered up now and as you can see we have nothing on the display and we have our negative 7 volts at our we have positive 0.7 volts where we should have negative 8 but look what happens when I feed the power supply in we have good display and I don't understand what's going on with my high voltage because we have a nice display on the scope you can see we have I set the DC power supply to give us negative 8 volts and we have a perfectly good display 
Before you order a part, especially an expensive part, it pays to spend a little bit of time going through things. I don't know if I had a poor contact when I took my high voltage measurement, but as you can see, we have a perfectly good display here. So I think the tripler is probably okay. I don't understand why it reads as low as it does. I don't know if that's normal. It may be, sorry. It may be, I don't know. But anyway, I need to get to the root of the negative eight volt problem. And I'm glad I didn't spend $75 ordering a high voltage multiplier that I don't think we need. So the lesson here is before you order parts, especially expensive parts, check everything else out. You can see feeding an external power supply and getting our negative eight volt back, everything looks happy. And while we're in here, let's take a look at the negative five. I think that's... Uh, that our positive five, I'm sorry. No, that's our 55. Uh, there you go. So now you see our positive five volt is good when injecting a known good eight volt into the negative eight volt. Remember that op amp needs both the voltages, the positive 15, and the negative eight in order to put out the correct references. So we have a problem with the negative eight volt power supply. And uh, I need to put a video up here because this was not what I thought it was. Every other high voltage multiplier I've ever seen shorted out. I've never seen one do what this is doing. So I suspect there may have been a problem with my measurements. I'm probably gonna go back and check that out again. But I needed to put this up here to show you that we all make mistakes. And before ordering an expensive part or writing something off, which I was ready to do with this, it pays to look at all the little things. Power supplies are, a, are an excellent place to start. Once I saw what was going on here, um, I could have fixed the supply, but it would have been... <laughs> It would have been a waste of time to fix a power supply on something that still has other issues. So I decided to just inject from my bench power supply. And that's this little guy right up here. That's where I'm feeding in. And I'm just feeding in... Oh, where are we at? I'm just feeding in right across this capacitor right here. As you can see, that made everything work. So I just wanted to put this up there. Uh, it's a good lesson for all of us, me included. So, um, well, just like giving back to the community, that's given me so much. That's all I can say at this point. Thanks a lot, folks.